I've always felt that what I do is far more than just a job or a profession. It's really always been a calling for me. And I have felt that it's a great privilege to have been able to spend my career in the field of surgical oncology. And I would like to instill that same sense of excitement and responsibility in our next generation of surgical oncologists and other cancer specialists. As I train juniors who are interested in this field, I feel it's far more than just the simple conduct of an operative procedure, understanding of how you select a patient for an operation, how you manage them after their surgery. It's just as important to inculcate them with those values and qualities that will make them a compassionate physician that will help them understand how to communicate effectively with their patients and to instill in them a sense of curiosity so that they will always be looking for new and improved ways to treat patients who have a diagnosis of cancer. Yeah, training the next generation of surgeons is very important here at the Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey. We have the only ACGME accredited surgical oncology fellowship in the state of New Jersey, and therefore this is a very important goal for us. Um, and my, my personal philosophy in training fellows is the idea of graduated autonomy. Um, these uh, oncology fellows are fully board certified general surgeons who are just learning nuances of surgical oncology care. Um, therefore, we encourage the fellows to participate in our conferences, participate in the care of our patients, and participate in our clinical research. Um, our patients will meet our fellows in the office before they undergo surgery, the morning of surgery, um, when they're asking many questions about the procedure, and lastly, they'll be intimately involved in the intraoperative and postoperative care of our patients. Uh, these surgical oncology uh, fellows and residents are um, extremely dedicated to our patients and are always available to our patients um, during their initial postoperative course and even for the follow-up time afterwards. One of the benefits of working here at Rutgers is having the opportunity to work with trainees such as medical students, surgical residents, and our surgical oncology fellows. Um, it's a real pleasure to help train and teach the next generation of surgeons and doctors and hopefully try to encourage some of them to enter the field of endocrine surgery. In the past, we used to think of cancer as one disease. Now there's, you know, breast cancer, there's many different subtypes based on the biological and genomic profile of the cancers. And so not, we don't always treat the, uh, the, the same type of cancer with the same type of surgery. Every patient has a different kind of approach. And I think that's really the, how we train this, our surgeons to, to know when to intervene and how to intervene and what kind of intervention, interventions to provide to, the, to, to each patient. I think that's where really the training should focus on.